Hey, my lovely babes and babettes and every babe in between. Today we'll be talking about this one very chaotic person that I'm sure everyone in the art community has heard of by now, Lumi Starbun. The whole drama surrounding this child is wild and juicy to say the least. And I've been drinking that crap up like a Capri Sun. I've watched my fair amount of videos on Lumi and they stay on some type of drama. Like, baby girl, chill. It's too much for me to keep up with. But I'm finally making a video on it because I felt the time was right. I'm gonna stop capping. It was because I stopped procrastinating. I'm gonna try my best to stay as nice as I physically can to this child, but it's gonna be hard because she is testing me and everyone else. I am sure of it. So, um, yeah, trigger warning. And let's jump down into this deep, deep rabbit hole. Topic one, faking her death. Yes, this child has faked her death multiple times and still does it. She seems to do this when she needs her little attention meter filled back up when people are finally starting to worry about more important things in their life. I think she's faked her death around 15 times, which is a lot. I mean, doing it at all is bad. One is one too many, but dang, that's a lot. What she would do is make a little post on Instagram claiming to be her friends or whatever, talking about how they thought she was getting better, emphasizing her death, or posting her year of birth and what year she supposedly passed away at, or texting people about it. And the sad thing is, these people believed her. She took these people's trust and threw it out the window and burned it and spat on it. She also threatened her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend, Matt, by saying she will kill herself if he doesn't get back together with her. That is very toxic and manipulative behavior. And you should never do that under any circumstances. Plus, you shouldn't need to depend on someone to that degree if you find yourself genuinely considering taking your life just because your significant other decided to leave, then go seek help and stay out of a relationship until you're able to depend on yourself because you are not in the right headspace to be in a romantic relationship with someone. She then blames Matt for her guilt tripping. Like, like what? But that's not all, folks. She also made a fake account called Mimi, built a relationship with Cass under this Mimi persona, then offed them to hurt Cass. Before she made like an uh, alternate account called Mimi, mm -hmm. and she was dating my friend as Mimi. That's gross. And then she faked her suicide and then got back together. This was while she was dating Matt, by the way. Wait, the so she husband. faked her suicide as Mimi? Yes. To get then, to your friend? Um, to make my friend upset, and then oh, said, "Oh, I'm," and then like a week later, just said, "Wait, who does that?" But that's enough on this topic. It's personally giving me a headache. Let's hop on to train wreck number dose. Prego. Topic two, pregnancy. Lumi has claimed to be pregante three times, one miscarriage, and two abortions. She told people the first one was a miscarriage book her baby. She said she was planning on keeping it, but then claims that her family made her get rid of it because she was too young or something like that. And then fessed up to lying about her parents making her ab abort it and that she is keeping it. Then making a video saying that she did abort it. Like, girl, can you chill for one second? Uh, I just, I. I can't. Child. On, on to the next topic. Let's go. Topic three, relationships. As you can tell about the stuff I've already said, Lumi isn't the best person to be in any kind of proximity of, let alone in a relationship. She's been in a relationship with this boy named Matt. Their relationship at the start was a mess and obviously stayed that way. At the beginning, they both ended up cheating on each other. Well, kind of. Lumi made this fake account and started flirting with Matt with this account, like some type of test to test his loyalty, which doesn't even matter because they stayed together anyways. They then start this on and off type relationship 
And then Lumi starts becoming the psychotic girlfriend we all know she would be. At this point, you have hacked his account, you threatened to dox him, uh, you threatened to kill his mother, um, what else am I missing? Just put it to bed, you have six fucking accounts messaging him on Discord and he's- Oh, I have more. Constantly. Oh, great, sweetie, good to know. <laughs> yeah, it's more like 30. She then made a video called Exposing Matt, saying he sexually assaulted her, and then the one screenshot she used as proof turned out to be fake, and then she did come forward saying the sexual harassment thing was all fake. Then Matt provided actual proof of Lumi basically confessing to attempted murder. Then Lumi comes up with the worst and cringiest excuse for it. I didn't want to kill him. Get this. I just wanted to, to assert, assert my dominance. Dominance. Child, anyways. Next. Next caller. Next caller. Next caller. Topic four. Doxing. Yay, more legal activity. Yes, my grasshoppers. Doxing is illegal. So this account called Exposing Castile was made. And it posted Cass's dad's face. Why though? Cass's face and then put Cass's address on Discord. Then also oh saying an intelligent Lumi threatened to dox Matt as well because he refused to talk to her like any sane person should do. After she harassed the man for like a week. And then after Matt tries to break it off for real, she combats that with the cringiest set of words. Percent done. Yeah, I am. All right, enjoy what's coming. Like, honey, this isn't a movie. It's, it's, it's not creepy, it's cringy. Topic five, this is one crazy 16 year old. She claims the reason she does all of this is because it's the only way to stop the voices in her head and she wants others to feel the pain she's felt. This one people to feel the pain that I've been feeling which is okay my god this is more dramatic than a teen drama does does this girl think she's like the main character in a teen drama or something I'm guessing she lives by the all attention is good attention rule which no oh also if you're hearing genuine voices in your head go go seek help because that's not normal Topic six, apology. She does make an apology video, but never states what she's actually sorry for. So it's not really genuine if you ask me. Then the people in our comments are saying, everyone makes mistakes and I forgive you. Like, no, that's, that's not okay. This girl has claimed to be a pathological liar. I, I would not believe this. Everything this girl has done is not okay. She has not had enough time to even grow to be truly sorry for her actions, let alone be trusted. Like, what? She apologizes multiple times in the past and then goes back and does the same actions that she apologized for. What makes you think this time is going to be different? It's not because guess what? She went right back to doing what she always does which is being a selfish, attention-seeking psychopath. She called the little bit of people that actually try to help her toxic and horrible people. Like, Lumi, you have no room to be calling anyone toxic and horrible. But that's all I have for now. And I thank you so much for watching. And yeah. Remember, stay true to yourself. And don't be terrible people.